Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hello all. Uh, we are from group 6 and we will be presenting our discussion about word formation in terms of noun, adjective, and conversion or zero derivation. Next slide, please. So here is our members of the group. Uh, our group consists of six person. The first is Alifatur Rahmi Khairunisa. Uh, the second is Novita Fitria Dewi. The third is Nurul Nuhanifa. The fourth is Rahmawati Hana Pratiwi. The fifth is Eskela Dita Afiana. And the last is Zeta Isma. Next slide, please. So here is the table of contents. As I said earlier, we will be discussing about uh, the noun forming, adjective forming, and conversion or zero derivation. Next slide, please. The first is about noun forming. So noun can be formed by uh, adjective, verb, and also noun itself. And to form noun, uh, English usually it often use suffixes. And here are some noun forming suffixes. Uh, the table above is suffixes which is added to a noun to form a new noun. For example, the suffix er, uh, which means person concerned with the noun. For example, uh, astronomer, which has the base root astronom and added by the uh, suffix er then uh, it it forms new nouns uh, the second is suffix ism which means doctrine of a uh, noun for example is marxism which has uh, about the base marxist marx and it is added by the suffix ism to form new noun, which is uh, Marxism. And the last is suffix ship, uh, which means state of being noun. For example, is friendship, which has the uh, base of base word friend, then added by the suffix ship uh, that forms new noun. Next slide. Next slide will be presented by uh, Rahmawati Hana. Eh, sorry, it's Kladita. Okay, I will continue the explanation from Noha. Uh, verb plus suffix noun. Suffix uh, in, the, in the first. Uh, suffix uh, meaning uh, action of verb being uh, examples demonstration expansion and admission and the suffix meaning action of verb being at the second suffix r meaning person who for as something used for verb being uh, example, advertiser, driver, computer, and greater. And the suffix means a uh, meaning, action, or instead of copying. Examples, development, punishment, and unemployment. And the suffix an, and meaning person who, for as, examples, assistance, consultant, and student. And the suffix ang and ang meaning action or result of verb. Uh, examples uh, preference, uh, dependence, and interpreference. And the suffix re or re meaning action or instance of verb in, this of verb in. Examples the preberry, rubbery, nursery, refinery, and bakery. Next slide, please. Active plus suffix noun. Suffix is meaning set or quality of being adjective. 
Simple Ability, Similarity, Responsibility, and Curiosity. And the suffix uh, meaning state or quality of pain. Adjective. Example, darkness, reflectness, and consciousness. And the suffix C meaning set or quality of pain. Adjective. Examples, urgency, efficiency, frequency. We can also use prefix to form noun, but mostly it form new noun from a noun also. For example, prefix anti meaning against. Example, anti plus climax, uh, so anti climax and anti plus thesis, so anti thesis and the prefix auto meaning self. Uh, examples, auto plus biography, uh, so autobiography and auto plus mobile, so automobile, prefix B meaning to. Example, B plus lingual, so bilingual, and B plus cultural, example, uh, so B cultural. Okay, uh, the next slide will be explained by Zaka. Okay, the second is about adjective. Adjective forming suffixes. Adjective forming suffixes change the words or morphemes to adjective. For example, based on table two, suffix able with the meaning being able. And for the example, reasonable, comfortable. Suffix al with the meaning relating to with the example, cultural, official, Nutritional, educational, personal. Suffixes full with the meaning full of, with the example, plentiful, peaceful, beautiful. And then suffix ik with the meaning characteristic, with the example, economic, artistic. And the suffix call with the meaning relating to, and for the example, psychological, psychical, and historical. And the last is suffix os with the meaning characterized by, and for the example, religious. Based on the table above, it shows that adjective forming suffixes consist of able, al, full, ik, and os. Suffix able, for example, the word reasonable and comfortable, the word reasonable has a base from reason and added by the suffix able to be reasonable. The word comfortable has base from comfort and added by the suffix able to be comfortable. Suffix al, for example, the word cultural, official, nutritional, educational, personal. The word cultural has a base from culture and added by the suffix al to be cultural. The word official has a base from office and added by the suffix al to be official. The word nutritional as the best from nutrition and added by the suffix al to be nutritional. The word education has the best from education and added by the suffix al to be educational. The word personal has the best from person and added by the suffix al to be personal. The word Cultural has a base from culture and added by the suffix al to be cultural. Suffix full, for example, the word plentiful, peaceful, beautiful. The word plentiful has a base from plenty and added by the suffix full to be plentiful. The word 
peaceful has a base from peace and added by the suffix full to be peaceful. The word beautiful has a base from beauty and added by the suffix full to be beautiful. Suffix ik, for, for example, the word economic and artistic. The word economic has a base from economy and added by the suffix ik to be economic. The word artistic has a base from artist and added by the suffix ik to be artistic. Suffix cow, for example, the word psychological, psychical, and historical. The word psychological has a base from psychology and added by the suffix cow to be psychological. The word psychical has a base from psych and added by the suffix all to be Sical. For example, the word cultural. Sical, official, and historical. And the last is suffix os. For example, the word religious. The word religious has a best form religion and added by the suffix os to be religious. And the next slide will be presented by Rapita. Okay, I will explain about adverb forming suffixes. Adverb forming suffixes tend to work or morphem to the adverb, for example, suffix ly. With, me, with the meaning with, and for example, digitally, physically, mentally, properly, specifically, heavily, and so on. Based on the table above, it shows that adverb forming suffix only consists of ly. Suffix ly, for example, the word digitally, physically, mentally, properly, specifically, heavily, regularly, equally, elderly, constantly, generally. And so on. The word digitally has a base form digital and added by the suffix ly to be digitally. The word mentally has a base form mental and added by the suffix ly to be mentally. The word properly has a base form proper and added by the suffix ly to be properly. The word specifically has a base form specifical, specifically and added by the suffix ly. To be specifically, the word heavily has a base for heavy and added by the suffix ly to be heavily. The word regularly has a base for regular and added by the suffix ly to be regularly. And the word equally, equally has a base for equal and added by the suffix ly to be equally. The word elderly has the best form elder and added by suffix ly to be elderly. The word constantly has the best form constant and added by suffix ly to be constantly. The word generally has the best form general and added by suffix ly to be general. So it can be said that the suffix doesn't only change the meaning of the morphine. They attach to, but they also change its power of speech. Next slide, please. Adverb forming suffixes, perfect time related to an adjective to form a new adjective or related to the verb to form a new verb. For example, suffix un. Has the meaning um, has the meaning not and for example unwanted unwanted suffix miss has the meaning not for example is misconception based on the table above it shows that the adverb for me prefix consists of un and miss prefix un for example the word unwanted the word unwanted has the best form wanted and added by the suffix ly to be unwanted. The word misconception.
and passages for the inception can edify the topic or right to the misconception. The next slide will be presented by my friend, Alicia. Okay. The last material here is about confession or zero derivation. The definition. In linguistic, conversion, also called zero derivation or null derivation, is a kind of word formation involving the creation of a word of a new word class from an existing word of a different word class without any change in form, which is to say derivation using only zero. For example, the noun green in gold referring to a pudding green is derived ultimately from the adjective green. Derivation is the morphological process that leads to the creation of new words in language. For example, the adjective payable is derived from the verb pay with the addition of the suffix able that denotes possibility or necessity. Similarly, the verb reproduce is derived from the verb produce with the addition of the prefix li, which often denotes repetition or return to original state. Next slide, please. For example, the verb the bridge is derived from the noun the bridge without the addition of any affix. This convert process of derivation is called zero derivation or conversion and is completely semantically compositional and very productive in English. Conversion from adjective Conversions from adjectives to nouns, or maybe verbs to nouns, and vice versa, are both very common and unnotable in English. Much more remarked upon is the creation of a verb by converting a noun or other word. Okay, the next explanation will be continued by Rahmawati Ganapati. Okay, I will continue presentation from Alifa, another example, the word call can be divided into two categories of word classes. Call as a noun has the meaning on dictionary, the act of using telephone. It can be true conversion as a verb has the meaning on dictionary to use a phone to talk to someone. Call as a noun, he heard an urgent call from his superiors. Call as a verb, I call my an old friend every Saturday. For second example, I'll explain about the word formation process on conversion. Because it stands in the function of a word in the sentence. Next slide, please. Another example of conversion or zero derivation, the first is impact. If as a noun has the meaning on dictionary, a powerful effect on something. For example, anti-smoking campaigns has made quite an impact on young people. As a verb, has the meaning to have an influence on something an example, children abilities are greatly impacted by family support. The second example, adjective as in an empty room can be termed conversion as the verb to empty. Sentence, the first is it's an empty room. An empty room is as an adjective. Second example, she will plan to empty her old warehouse. To empty is as the verb. Next slide, please. Thank you for your attention. Sorry if there are wrong words and action. Please ask if there is material that still don't understood. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.